Hello and welcome to another accounting tutorial. Within this video, we'll be covering the topic of prepayments and more specifically, prepaid expenses. So the aim of this session is to further your knowledge on the accruals concept. If you've seen the accrued expenses or accrued income video, you'll already be familiar with the concept. And if you haven't seen those videos, I'll pop a link in the description. The accruals concept in itself is quite straightforward. We're making sure as a business that we're matching the revenue or expenditure with the correct period. So unlike cash accounting where we record the transaction when the money is physically paid or received, in accruals accounting, we're recording the transaction when the goods or services were acquired or took place. Recording prepayments falls under the accruals concept. Now let's look at prepaid expenses in more detail. Prepayment of an expense occurs when the business is paid for goods or services before the end of the period, but which relate to a future period. Take a look at the example on screen. This business has paid for insurance that covers from April through to March, i.e. the insurance covers a 12 month period. Their financial year runs from January through to the end of December. This means that included within the £2,400, we have insurance related to three months of the following financial year. Now, when preparing the accounts, this would need to be deducted from the financial year end 2021 and be moved into the following financial year, which the expense actually relates to. Within the financial accounts, prepaid expenses are deducted from the expense account. They're then shown as a current asset in the year end statement of financial position. This is to represent that we have paid for goods or services and therefore lowered the amount in our bank account, but the business is still owed the goods or services. The reason for dealing with prepayments in this way is to ensure that the profit or loss records the expense that relates to the year instead of simply the amount that has been paid. In other words, the expense is adjusted to relate to the time period covered by the profit or loss. The statement of financial position shows an asset for the amount that has been paid up front. The double entry therefore to record a prepaid expense is to credit the relevant expense account, decrease in the balance and debit the prepaid expense account to increase the business's assets. Now let's put this into an example scenario. Here we have our first case study. The trial balance of Hawkins Limited at the 31st of December 2021 shows a debit balance for rent of £26,200. Within this amount there is a prepayment of £4,200 that relates to the following financial year. Therefore an adjustment needs to be made in the financial statements of 2021 to record this prepayment. Firstly, let's have a look at our accounts before any adjustments are made. We can see that there's currently a balance of 26,200 within the rent expense account. There's also a nil balance within the prepaid expenses account. The next step is to record the prepaid expense within our accounts. To do this, we credit the rent expense by the prepayment amount of 4,200 pounds and debit the prepaid expenses for 4,200 pounds. And at this point, we've successfully entered the prepayment within our accounts. We now need to look at closing off these accounts as part of the year end process. To do this, we transfer the balance on the rent expenses to the profit or loss. In this example, that would be the current balance of 26,200 minus the prepaid expense of 4,200, giving you an amount to be transferred of 22,000. We then credit this to the rent expense and debit the profit or loss. Within the prepaid expenses, we simply need to balance off the account, which will then be brought down into the next period. So how will this look in the new financial year? At the start of the next financial year, the prepayment is reversed. To do this, we debit the rent expense for £4,200 and credit the prepaid expenses for £4,200. The effect of this is that we have a nil balance on our prepaid expense account and a £4,200 debit balance on our rent expense. By doing this, we have successfully moved the £4,200 from the previous period into the current period 
and our prepaid expenses are nicely tied off. Right, now let's look at case study two. Munda Difflin Limited is a business selling paper. Their financial year runs to the 31st of March 2021. The insurance account shows a debit balance of £14,000, but within this figure you are informed that one invoice for £3,600 relates to the quarter ending the 31st of May. What is the amount of the prepayment and how is this dealt within the accounts? Firstly, we need to calculate the amount that has been prepaid. The balance for £14,000 has been paid throughout the year. £3,600 relates to the quarter ending the 31st of May. So if we divide this by three, we get the monthly amount of insurance that has been paid. Therefore, 3,600 divided by three gives us a monthly amount of 1,200. As two months relates to the next financial year, the business would therefore need to enter a prepayment value of 2,400 pounds. Let's now have a look at how we would record this. Let's have a look at the accounts as they currently stand with no prepayment entered. So we have a balance on the insurance account of £14,000 and a nil balance on the prepaid expenses. The first step will be as we did before, which is to record the prepayment within these accounts. To do this, we credit the insurance expense for £2,400, therefore decreasing the amount on the expense account and debit the prepaid expenses, i.e. increasing the business's assets. Now the next step will be to close off the accounts at year end. To do this we will transfer the balance on the insurance account to the profit or loss. So 14,000 less the prepayment of 2,400 equates to 11,600. We then balance off the prepaid expenses account by showing the balance carried down which will then be brought down in the new financial year. So finally at the start of the next financial year the prepayment is reversed. To do this, we debit the insurance account for £2,400 and credit the prepaid expenses for £2,400. The effect of this is that we have a nil balance on our prepaid expenses account and a £2,400 debit balance on our insurance expense account. And therefore, we have successfully moved the prepaid insurance from the prior year into the now new year. The final part that I'd like to show you here is just how this would look in the extended trial balance. So using case study two, we can see that the insurance expense has an existing balance of 14,000. We then enter the prepayment within the adjustments column to show the decrease to the insurance expense. We then enter this within the debit side of the adjustment columns to show the amount within the prepaid expense account. The existing balance minus the adjustment is then transferred to the profit or loss and the prepaid expense is shown as an asset within the statement of financial position. And that wraps up prepaid expenses. Please don't forget to like this video if you found it helpful and to subscribe to the channel for more AAT content. Thanks again for watching, I'll catch you in the next video.